Here is Brick Maniacs, in person, covers, binding, all the wonderful instructions inside, and as you can see, it is coming hot out the presses as we speak right now. So we'll have some more updates for you regarding the Heroes of Ukraine book starting next week, hoping to get it out the door soon. We've also started a uh, new spring cleaning sale, so you can use promo code SPRING uh, one time now through Sunday to be able to save 15% on your order. That's good in stores and online as well. We've also got a new pre-order this week. That's the Hedgerow Cutting Sherman. Uh, we'll hear from Andreas a little bit more about that. Then we've also got the new Marine Raider that features some inside leg printing. We'll hear from Amanda about that. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to the, to the dynamic duo of Amanda and Slam. Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Exciting <laughs> Thursday sit rep episode of Brickmania TV. I'm Slam. I'm Amanda. And we are here to talk about the new things. The new things. The brand new coming out releasing tomorrow things. As you know, <laughs> week after week we crank out fabulous products. And this week is no exception. Indeed. Because we have the Normandy Sherman Hedro Cutter. Right? Yes. Did I say that? I did. Look at that. I said it all right, in the right order even. I'm learning. It's great. Anyway, this is by Andreas, and we're going to cut to him now for uh, little details on it. Hey guys, it's Andreas here from the European Design Studio in Oslo, and today I have a new Sherman to show you. So this is the M4 Sherman with hedgerow cutters. Let's take a look at it. And this is the M4 Sherman with hedgerow cutters. This German guy is not included, of course. Uh, so what I did here is building off of Dan's design. So I will not take full credit for this. I took his last Sherman and was kind of building off of that to uh, bring a new Sherman because we are coming up on 80 years since D-Day happened. We're doing a D-Day variant of the Sherman and what they figured out when they arrived in D-Day and a couple days after the uh, big um, invasion on Normandy uh, on the beaches, they were fighting through Normandy, fighting through France, and they realized that most of Normandy had a lot of hedgerows. So what hedgerows are is big uh, piles of dirt and hedges, so they were uh, proved very difficult to fight through. So what they did was they, uh, they used sheet metal uh, to kind of make these spikes that goes on the front of the Sherman. So they had many different variants of these spikes, but they all serve the same purpose, which is basically punching through uh, hedges. And at the same time, when you're going across a hedge, your Sherman is kind of pointing like this. And the weakest point of the tank is the underside. So this also showed some protection, uh, sort of like armor protection for the underside. So a very effective design, very simple. It's basically just adding spikes to the front. This almost looks like what you would want for fighting zombies with a Sherman, I guess. Very, very cool looking, almost like spears and knives. So I actually did use some knife pieces here. That was sort of a fun technique. And these also have a very similar, these sort of spear tips have a very similar shape to what the real ones would have. I was thinking about building this with tiles or and kind of brick building it but I noticed that the shape of this one is pretty much perfect because it has some uh, sort of a knife going to the side and a knife going upwards so it's very small and nimble but also uh, very effective for showing off uh, for uh, yeah showing off what the, the hedgerow cutters will, will look like so some additional changes you get some prints on the back here prints for an ammo box print for uh, wooden box on the back. You also get some scissors on the back. That was a fun detail just in case you need to trim the, the hedges. Just a funny detail. You also get a printed name here, some printed parts. You also get a star sticker, which is optional. And uh, some minor changes that I did to the Sherman uh, is using this new slope piece here. It is brand new, so it's still kind of pricey to get in quantity but it's a very nice piece that that works very well for for this particular shape on the turret of the Sherman and with that I was also able to add a, a flex tube for a gun here that is one of the uh, browning machine guns that they had sticking out at the viewport you also get a spare wheel you get a helmet on the side I thought that was a nice little detail 
you have the classic M2HB on this on the top here, and you get a new figure. Not this one. This is just a stand-in, but you get a nice new Normandy tanker made by Amanda. And you have lots of prints on the wheel here. You'll have a printed drive sprocket. You get printed bogies. Just look at the renders. It's all very beautiful printing done by Slam and the print team. Uh, you get a sticker on the hood here because there's a lot of cross element pieces here. So uh, adding an optional sticker is uh, probably the better choice than to actually print this whole thing. So yeah, I mean, this is Sherman, classic Brickmania Sherman that you all know and love, designed by Dan. Uh, my contributions was mainly just adding these spikes to the front, which I think they look pretty good pretty accurate and now you can punch through the hedges of normandy and that's it for this vehicle thank you guys for watching a new sherman variant d-day special uh let's go back to the studio you think he's done about now i think he's about done all right you can almost hear him <laughs> going to andreas and field about that sherman about that sherman okay we're gonna talk about it i like talking about stuff there's one cool piece of art on the Sherman, okay. and that's the name of the tank. It is, oh, that's right. Because it came with the name Whirlwind, yeah, based yeah. on famous lawnmowers from the 1940s. <laughs> so I'm excited to have that little Easter egg. It's an totally, appropriate name. It's a totally legit name yeah. for a tank. Especially also, one with a hedgerow cutter. <laughs> right? So anyway, so I want to mention that. No, that's fair. That's <clears> great. <throat> I, I, okay. I agree with this mentioning. Okay. Well played. Uh, shipping. 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 This week. M moving on to shipping. <laughs> Uh, so, shipping this week, we have this guy. Ooh. So, we have a World War II frog skin camo marine. This guy is cool. Thank you. You did a it great was job fun. on him. Yeah, um, new, uh, new pattern on him. Uh, kind of playing with the, trying to get the frog skin not super worn out yet or, you know, bleached. Um, so, he's fairly new to the uh, new. field. Not totally new. Yeah, right? not, not, not super, super new, but, you know. Fairly, fairly fresh onto the shores. Um, mm. The fun thing about this is we got the opportunity to actually print the inside of the legs. Now, this is now something we is, haven't had the chance to do why before. Why is that, Amanda? Because we haven't been able to get the legs separated before they hit the or before they're put on to the hip pins. So when you put the legs on the hip pins, they actually squish down a part of the mold which is what helps lock them in place, right? Mm -hmm. And if you take them off and put them back on, they get pretty loose. So we didn't want to attempt it until we had a chance. We got a small amount of them in sand green and were able to actually do it for the first time. So that's pretty exciting. Not sure if we'll be able to do it again. It depends if we'll ever be able to get legs separated of the uh, We We the, know uh, people have been asking for us to print the insides yeah. of the legs for a long time. We are not promising we'll ever do this again. It <laughs> no. really depends on how we can yeah. get our parts, yeah. right? And usually hip leg assemblies are complete. Yep. And we will not take them apart. Yeah, we don't, it, it's the whole like, after a couple times they start falling off and we just mm -hmm. want to make sure our minifigs stay intact, so. New quality parts. There you That's go. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. So this is so, super special minifig because inside the leg printing. Inside leg. Super collectible yeah. because of that. Super collectible. But, it's got a great uh, M1 carbon um, as well. Standard perfect caliber Same. M1. But it's good. It's yep. a good one. I great like it. One. Goes well with them. Uh, the uh, the tan version for the helmet and yeah. Uh, yeah, some good pouches and all that. So yeah, he was a fun one. He's, he's a super outstanding minifig. Thanks. Great work on the Marine. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go. Uh, and this is a very small quantity we're putting up too, right? Or a smaller than um, normal. It's, I think it's a normal quantity, but because they're limited, um, like, because we don't have any more, we can't make any more of these or do another run until we find more parts, so. so one and done. Yep, okay. one and done. Cool. Which is unusual for our minifigs, so it's kind of fun. Um, All right. Also um, shipping. Yeah. Normally we'd have a box, but the Churchill tank Churchill. that you pre-ordered a while back is yep. finally on its way to your doorstep. Yep. Super exciting. Yeah, Great that's a good one. Andres. Yeah, Andrea. that's a good one. Andrea. Yep. yep. And the M151A1 MUT. The MUT is finally, <laughs> it's a thing. I feel like I did it a million years ago. Um, yeah. We work at a very quick pace, so it feels mm. so long ago. It really wasn't, but it feels like a long time ago. <laughs> Six or seven busy weeks back it's that we worked on busy that. busy weeks, yeah, but exciting weeks, so it's good. So yeah, pick I'm up your- super fond of the MUT. It's got a great canvas topper. It's good, it's yeah. good. It's got a good, I agree. The canvas looks nice on it. Cool. Got a fun fig, and yeah, it's a good, it's a good little kit. If you got a chance to pick one up, Lucky you, it's on this way. 
Okay. Otherwise, uh, check out the stores. Always, always take things to note. Yep. We, we have retail stores near you. No, they're not anywhere Maybe. close to your house. <laughs> if you're but, in California. <laughs> but if you happen to be Virginia, close to one of our stores, pick up Chicago. <laughs> a mutt or a Churchill. Or, yep. Yeah, okay. There you go. They'll get some frogs for you guys, too. And then pre-ordering. Do we do that? Or is that Dylan thing? I never remember. Usually Dylan takes care of pre-orders. Yeah, let's just I thought do it. so. We should do it. Yeah. I like it. We're doing it. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, pre-ordering is the Spitfire uh, MK9. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. MK9. There we go. So that's uh, pre-ordering. Uh, World War II British fighter. So I am not off book in case you could tell. Um, <laughs> and also the police spinner is coming back for a pre-order. So oh, that's cool. exciting. Yeah. I have a police spinner. You do? Kit. Yeah. Nice. And this is the um, newer version by Andreas. Yep, the 2049. Yep, 2049. Mm -hmm. So two kits come back. And so, so it's a re re what do you call it? Re release? Re re release. Yeah. Restock. 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 I think it's called restock. That's what, okay. Boy, that was smooth. We should have Dylan come up and redo that. I I mean, yeah, he can he can make that choice. So if you see this, we did great. If we didn't, we screwed it up enough that Dylan decided to redo it. <laughs> Great. All right, that's 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 it. That Sweet, is all the news going to Dylan. To print. Okay, let's cut to <laughs> Dylan. Hey, Dylan, how's it going, Slam? It's great. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. You know what else is going to be great? What's going to be great? Is Monday when everybody who got in on the last LCAC pre-order oh is going to start getting their stuff, including the printed parts pack and all that kind of fun stuff. It'll be happening throughout the week. I mean, it's it's a big kit, so give us a little bit of time. But those pre-order dates. Uh, for the people who got in on that, the the made to order LCAX, um, and then the new printed parts pack that you designed is, is yeah. ready to roll. Cool. Yeah. Look for your shipping notifications coming soon. Yeah, exactly. So okay. so keep your eye out for those. That's kind of the big one. Otherwise, we got some. You know, we usually do minifig Monday, so we'll have some of those. We've got the scout car coming back. Um, mm -hmm. If you remember the RSO. Yeah. So that initially was uh, was ready to ship when we dropped the first batch that weekend. Yeah. However, it was so popular and we were doing it limited edition, we decided to open a pre-order batch later that weekend. Mm -hmm. Those are now getting ready to ship. So if you were part of the group that had to wait for the RSO to show up, those are now getting ready to head out the door. That's got to be a good feeling because you probably have already seen other people who got to build theirs. <laughs> right. It's the second half of that limited edition exactly. first batch. Yep. Exactly. First exactly. and only batch. First and only batch. Yeah. So those, those are heading out. Other than that, um, we've got the M3 a1 Scout car, which is a good classic series kit that'll be reloading. Um, D-Day U.S. Infantry V2, Battle of the Bulge German Infantry with Winter Smock, Modern French Rifleman, Tank Destroyer Crewman, World War II U.S. Sergeant uh, V2, World War II U.S. Rifleman V3, and the perfect uh, caliber Brick Arms Gewer 98 with, uh, with bayonets. Is that how you say that? Gewer? Gewer? Gewer. Gewer? Yeah, I, I knew there was, there's gotta be some sort of V going on in there, right? Same more German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the rundown. Okay. That's a huge, huge mm -hmm. batch of minifigs. Yes. Cool. Look forward to that on Monday, everybody. Gotta love those minifig Mondays. And then, uh, if, if, have you packed yet? Are you getting ready? For California? No. No, I have <laughs> not. Uh, I am absolutely not ready to go to California. <laughs> well, hopefully we're a little bit, the, the company, I mean, is a little bit more ready than Slam, because we got a whole bunch of awesome stuff rolling out that weekend, including, this is the first time we've shown it on the sit rep, the Apocalypse Ranger. Yeah. Ooh. We teased We teased this a little bit. Um, pre, pre, you know, beforehand when uh, when we put out the calendar and stuff like that. So if you were in the know on stuff, you might have maybe had a guess at what the exclusive road store figure is going to be. Um, but there it is. That is the Apocalypse Ranger. You're working on a mini nuke. I'm working on a mini nuke. Mm -hmm. Yep, a new brand new brick arm. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so working on that. Mm -hmm. Getting the coat ready for this guy. Yep. Yeah. And then yeah. Right. We little last, some last minute adjustments. We're we're gonna custom make the coat for these guys, which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, it was amazing. What, what did you say, like five minutes from concept to, to actual coat with that little printer by your desk? That's so yep. cool. <laughs> Boom. Um, yeah, and then other than that, remember, uh, we'll have an event brick there, which you can get free um, with a $50 purchase. And then at both stores all weekend long, um, you will be able to save three, uh, $50 with a, a purchase of $300 or more. So if you're going to pick up a kit, if you got your eye on something, uh, this is a good weekend to do it because there's a lot of exclusives and you can get some free stuff. What weekend is it again? <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's all in the same weekend yes um, miramar is on the 20th that's from 11 okay. to 3 that's when the crew will be on hand uh the, the stuff will be around um you know after the crew leaves but if you want to shake hands with slam um you, you got to make Dylan? sure you're there yeah. from 11 to 3 i'm not going oh sorry <laughs> 
you guys may as well stay I have home. a life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's no, not uh, true. I don't. Anyway, so 11 to 3 on Saturday the 20th, that is going to be the Miramar location celebration. And then Mare Island will be Sunday the 21st from 10 to 2. Cool. So. It's been a great weekend. I love California. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've been out there the last two years. It's been a total blast. It's always great to see people who, you know, especially the crew that can't quite make the longer trips for like World War Brick or God forbid all the way over to the UK for Tank Fest. It's nice when we get a chance to come to them and you hear how far some people are still driving. You know, we came from Phoenix and it's like right. that's that's still a, a good trip. So just know that we really appreciate it um, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys. So cool. Yeah. It's been a great weekend. How do you end a show? Uh, do we clap again? No. <laughs> clap again. <laughs> clap out. Yep. And That's perfect. Out. Thanks okay, for great. watching. Thanks.